Harry Kingsland was on the trip of his dreams. He'd worked two jobs to save up for a summer in Ibiza. Each year, millions of tourists head out to the island for music, dancing and sunshine. Harry was one of many who worked as a nightclub promoter too. His parents, Julie and Jean, remember his excited video calls from the party island. I can see him now, his top would be off and he'd be telling me everything that he'd been doing and the scenery that he'd been, jumping off cliffs and all that stuff that they do in Ibiza, didn't he? Yeah. He, was, he was just, yeah. he, was, he was happy, he was happy. He was doing something that he's always wanted to do. Tiny, tiny boy. <laughs> tiny boy. Hey, hey. But the happiness didn't last. On the 18th of July 2018, Harry was killed. I'll never be the person I was and the person I am today. I've just got to learn to... I just take each day as it comes. And I've gone back to work because I need the routine, because it's been hard. Really hard. And it's been a long time. And I didn't get the justice for Harry that I wanted. Because I've lost my son. I'm like a car that's got four spark plugs. You take one away, I'm never going to run the same. I'm never going to be that person that I was. A Spanish court was told Harry was in this apartment block with friends when he tried to break up a fight between two flatmates. Prosecutors claimed that Mitchell Andrew Loveridge from the Rhonda in Wales then assaulted Harry by punching him in the head before continuing to mercilessly attack him as he lay on the ground. Loveridge then jumped from the second floor balcony the court heard before he was arrested in San Antonio. During the trial, Loveridge denied murdering Harry and claimed he acted in self-defence. The jury convicted him of the lesser charge of manslaughter a result that's angered Harry's parents, who struggled to listen to all the details of their son's death in court. The evidence was there. It was staring them in the face. The doctor's report, the pathologist's report, and the toxology said this was not an accident. Now, what more do you need? Now they're waiting to find out how long Mitchell Loveridge will spend in prison for killing their son. Loveridge's defence team have appealed to the judge to hand down a year-long sentence, while Harry's parents are asking for four years behind bars. Though for them, no time is enough compared to the years ahead they must endure. What I was really hoping for is that we got all this evidence and I was hoping they could make an example of him. And it's not going to happen now, is it? Because he's going to walk away or he's going to get just four years. The verdict, the trial hasn't brought you any peace, would you say, or...? It's just nothing, us... Nothing's going to ever bring Harry back. It's nothing's just brought us been... more anger. I don't think we've grieved, if I'm honest with you, because there's so many unanswered questions of what happened that day. Harry's summer in the sun was supposed to be the start of years of travelling and working abroad. Instead, his life was brutally cut short leaving his family to be tormented by living the rest of their lives without him. Ellie Pitt, ITV News.